Hello again everybody and welcome back to Booze Tuesday. Today we're going to be doing another big unboxing because we're going to be unboxing almost the complete set of the Crew U2's figures. And the reason why I have four out of the five and not all five is because I actually bought them after the Draco one had sold out. I didn't know if they were going to sell out or not, so I always kind of wait until they're almost about to sell out. And sadly, I was a little too late to get that one, but we have four out of the five, so I'm happy. So before these figures dropped, I had no idea who these guys were. So I actually did some research before the unboxing, and I found out that they're actually Roblox players, and they're all siblings, which is pretty cool. So obviously we have two figures right here, and then we have a box of two of them in here as well so I guess let's start off with one of the solo boxes and who do we have for the first one I believe just because of the colors I think this is probably Lunar there it is and apparently her full YouTube name is Lunar Eclipse all right let's get out of the plastic and out of the protector and here it is. So even though I'm not really a fan of their content, I really wanted to pick up these figures just because they actually look really cool. As you can tell from the concept art of this figure, it's very detailed. So obviously on the front of the sleeve here, we have Lunar right there, we have the concept right there, and we have a really cool background. It looks like we're in some kind of forest. It looks like the tree and like the rocks and everything all have a green glow to it. So it kind of reminds me of like a magical forest, especially with all these little lights there, like fireflies or whatever. So on the sleeve here, it looks like we do have a continuous sleeve. It looks like we might be underwater because of the air bubbles. I'm not sure, but that looks really cool. All the landscapes of this box make me think of like a magical forest so like an alien planet or something like that. But let's take off the sleeve and let's check out the box. If we can get it out there. There we go. So it looks like Lunar is number 280 of the collection. It looks like we have dark purple down here that it fades to a lighter purple on the top there. On the side here, it looks like we have another picture of our concept and then we have the same kind of background where it's kind of like a magical mystical forest. And on the back here, yeah, that looks really cool. So it looks like we have a fairy tale type cabin in the middle of this mystical forest, and this just looks super cool. So it looks like we have a ton of detail on the cabin right there. We have a well right here. Looks like we have some kind of green liquid on the bottom there. We got some mushrooms, we got some bushes, we got some plants climbing up the trees, and this just overall looks really cool. And the description for the figure for this one is very short. It just says meh. And then on the side here, we have a little message that says it's a mood. So overall, this box just looks super, super cool. I really like the design for it. But without further ado, let's open this thing up. So of course we have another picture of Lunar's face on the top of the tab there. And let's open this thing up and check out the message on the inside. And it looks like she's sleeping. Some potions right there as well. Alrighty, let's get this thing out of the box. And let's check out the inside box design. And it looks like we have the same kind of design that was on the inside of the tab there, where it's just a purple background with some potions in there. Alrighty, let's throw the stuff in the back there, and let's check out the figure. There is so much detail on this figure. This looks really cool. So of course we have her blue hair, which looks really cool. There's a lot of detail on that. It goes all the way down the back. Looks like it's braided back there with a little uh, golden triangle in the middle of her hair there and it looks like we have a little band down there as well. Then it looks like she's wearing some kind of crown. We have the same kind of golden triangle in the middle there, and then we have some silver designs on the sides. So in one hand, it looks like she's holding a green potion, which looks pretty cool. So we have like the green slime on the bottom there, and the rest is just clear, but if you look at it this way, it just all looks green. I like how they did that, that's cool. So it has like kind of like a solid and then it has the liquid in there as well. Then in the other hand, it looks like she's holding some kind of magical wand. So we have a star on the top there and it looks like her outfit is going to be purple and that goes for her entire outfit, the dress, the socks, and the boots. Overall, this is just a really cool figure. There's so much detail on it and it just looks really cool. But on to the next figure. Let's move this stuff to the side here and let's throw her in the back there. Alrighty, so the next figure that we have is Rainbow. So let's take this plastic stuff off and let's get it out of the protector. So something that I just wanna mention real quick is unlike the Sidemen drop where these guys are in a collection together but they don't have the same boxes, they all have their different personality traits on their boxes. 
So on the front of the sleeve here, we have rainbow up there. Of course, we have the concept right there. And in the background, it looks like it starts with blue on the top there, and then it fades to a pink on the bottom. And then we also have some pastries in the back there. It looks like we got some cake and a little bit of pie. Then on the side here, it looks like we do have another continuous sleeve here, and it's just a strawberry cake, it looks like. So I'll give you guys a little 360 of the sleeve here. And let's take the sleeve off and let's check out the box. So it looks like Rainbow is number 277 of the collection. Of course, we have the concept down there, and then we have the same kind of blue on the top there that fades to a pink on the bottom. On the side here, of course, we have another picture of the concept for the figure right there, and we have some more pastries in the back, mostly cake. It looks like we got a little biscuit down there and some pie in the background. Then on the back of the box here, oh, it looks like the cake actually transfers over to the back there. That's pretty cool. And it looks like there's a slice taken out. I'm guessing that's the slice that she's holding in the figure. But we have a very detailed cake there. Then we got some more pastries on the bottom there. It looks like we got a donut. We got a cupcake, which actually perfectly matches up with the YouTube's eyes right there. And then we got some more uh, different pastries on the bottom there. And the description of the figure says, I eat cake because it's somebody's birthday somewhere. I like that. That's kind of like the, uh, the younger version of it's five o'clock somewhere. Then the message on this side says, piece of cake. And on the top of the box here, of course, we have another picture of her face on the top of the tab there. And let's open this thing up and check out the message on the inside. And it says, do not eat. And the inside box design just looks like it's a bunch of different pastries. And it looks like it starts with blue on the top there and that fades to a pink just like the rest of the box. Alrighty, let's throw the box in the background and let's check out the figure. And here it is. This looks pretty cool. So we have a giant cake on the top of her head there with some strawberries on the top there as well. And then we have her pink hair, which is very vibrant pink hair. It's very detailed on all sides there. Then it looks like she's holding a piece of cake, probably the piece of cake that's missing on the back of the box here. Then it looks like she's wearing a light blue dress with some pink socks and some light blue shoes. Very cool figure. This one's very detailed as well. Alrighty, let's throw these boxes in the background and let's throw her in the background as well. And let's pick up the next figure. So these are the two remaining figures. I'm not sure which is which, so let's just go with a random one. Let's go with whatever one falls out first. And it looks like they're falling out at the same time. We'll go with this one, which is Funa. If I'm saying her name correctly, I'm not exactly sure how to say her name, but I'm just gonna guess it's Funa. If I did my research correctly, I think that she is the most subscribed out of all. But let's get her out of the plastic here. And on the front of the sleeve here, it looks like we have Funa on the top there. Then of course we have the concept right there. And it looks like we have a desert island in the background, which actually perfectly matches their box because it looks like it's a treasure map. So as I said before, the sleeve is like a classic pirate treasure map. It looks like we got some obstacles that you gotta avoid there. Is that Death Mountain maybe? Is that the, uh, the desert island that was on the sleeve? Possibly. And on this side, it looks like we have our final destination. We have the X that marks the spot. That's a pretty cool sleeve. I like it. But let's take this off and let's check out the box. So it looks like we have blue on the top there and it fades to a green on the bottom. Looks like she's number 279 of the collection. And on the side here, of course, we have another picture of a concept right there. Then we have the ocean in the background. We got a little rock right there as well. On the back here, it looks like we have the same kind of landscape that was on the side there. We have the ocean with some rocks sticking out and the blue sky in the background. And the description of the figure says, adventure awaits. And on the side of the box here, it looks like we have another message that says, escape the ordinary. Then of course we have another picture of Funa's face on the top of the box there. And let's open this thing up and check out the message on the inside and it says, Ute. Alrighty, let's take this guy out and let's check out the inside box design. And it looks like we just have the blue skies with the clouds there. Throw the boxes in the back and let's take out the figure. And here it is. This is really cool. I really like how they really leaned on their individual personalities for these figures. So Funa also has some very blue hair that goes all the way down her back as well. And it looks like she's holding a gem in one hand. Kind of looks like a Minecraft emerald, to be honest. And in the other hand, it looks like she's holding a sword. So I don't know if this is accurate or not, but it looks like right there we have the same kind of golden triangle that was on this one. 
So it looks like her outfit is mostly white and blue and then we got some gray in there as well. Then on the bottom we have some blue boots there as well with the white laces and the light blue on the bottom. So far, this is probably the most simplistic out of the three, but then again, it's not really that simplistic. It's just that all these are very well detailed. So let's throw Funa in the back here. Oh, and let's check out the final figure, which is gonna be gold. So let's lower my desk here a little bit and let's get this guy out of the protection. So it looks like the color of her sleeve here actually fits her name very well. So we have a gold background. It looks like we have lighter gold on the top there. Then it fades to a darker gold on the bottom there. And we just have a bunch of flowers and it looks like a butterfly in the background as well. Then on the side here, it looks like we have some kind of like mountainy terrain. We got some trees in there as well. Some clouds on the mountain. That looks really cool. And let's take off the sleeve and let's check out the box. So it looks like she is number 278 of the collection. We have the same kind of gold that was on the front of the sleeve there. And on the side here, we have the concept on the front there, of course. And it looks like we have the same kind of mountainy terrain in the background there, but we do have some green vegetation on the front there with some glowing mushrooms. And it looks like we have some very dark clouds moving in. And this one also looks very like mystical and magical. I like that. So it looks like we have some kind of mystical glowing forest. We got a bunch of glowing mushrooms there. It looks like we have a little stone bridge right there and this just looks really cool and the description of the figure says stay gold and the message on this side of the box says your only limit is you alrighty of course we have another picture of gold's face on the top of the box here and let's open this thing up and check out the message on the inside of the box and it says you are my sunshine all right, let's take this figure out and let's check out the inside box design. And it looks like we just have a whole bunch of different flowers and butterflies there. And let's take this figure out. So this is the only figure that actually includes a pet, which I really like. That dog looks really cute. So it looks like Gold is actually the only one out of the four that doesn't have dyed hair, unless they're just naturally blue or pink. So just like all the other characters, it looks like she's very long hair that goes all the way down her back there. Then it looks like she's holding a light blue leash that's connected to her dog. And the dog actually has some pretty good detail on it as well. Looks like he has some of U2's eyes there. And then we have some detail for his fur. We have this little collar right there with a little dog bone tag as well. Then it looks like her outfit is black and yellow and we have some matching boots on the bottom there as well. Just like the other ones, very cool figure. Alrighty, let's bring them all to the front here. So here we have the almost complete collection of the Crew U2's figures. These guys look really cool together. And as I said before, I really like how their personalities really come out in these figures. They're all very cool and unique in their own way. But that brings us to the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please hit that like button and subscribe for more U2's unboxings. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.